Now the last scenario for the uh, varying annuity we can consider is the continuous case. So this time, uh, this axis is time. This axis is the amount that you're receiving. And then we're going to continue. We're going to consider the case where the payment increases linearly. So at this point, it's time n. And at this time point here, the payment reaches n. So the symbol for this payment is pretty much similar to the annuity immediate case. So for the annuity immediate case, it looks like this. So the symbol for this kind of payment is looks like this. So we want to find a formula for the present value of this uh, continuum of this continuous increasing annuity. So the formula is given by this expression. So you can think of this as v of t is uh, giving you the present value. So you got time t, and then you bring it back to time zero, and then you bring in an amount of t times dt back to time zero. So this is the instantaneous amount you're receiving at time t. And then notice that it keeps on increasing because t is a variable. So in order to solve this integral, we need to use uh, integration by parts. So uh, first we integrate v to the power of t. So you get v to the power of t divided by natural log v. And then we differentiate t, which is just 1. So we can substitute the numbers in. Uh, 0 is just 0 because there's a t over here. And then natural log v is just negative delta. Because recall that natural log 1 plus i is equal to delta. And then natural log v is equal to natural log 1 plus i to the power of negative 1. So you can pull the negative down because it's a logarithm, which is equal to negative delta. And then here we do the integration again. So integrating v to the power of t is just v to the power of t divided by natural log v. And so substituting everything in, you get v to the power of n minus 1 delta squared. So let's just copy what we have for the time being. So let's open a new page. So uh, I'm going to dump this negative sign up into the, into the fraction. And then notice that for this term, I can actually write it as something like this. And then if you'll notice that this is actually the formula for the continuous annuity that pays $1 per annum. So I can just replace this expression here by this symbol. So in the end, we get something like this. So this is the formula. And then if you'll check, you see that this actually kind of resembles the formula you have for the uh, annuity immediate case. So this is the formula for the annuity immediate case. So you see that there's a kind of like a parallel between these two. Uh, this shouldn't be a delta. It should be an i instead. So yeah, you see, you see there's a parallel between these two. So memorizing one should be easy for you to, should be helpful for you to memorize the other.